Next, we will turn on the thermal strain. And if I go back to the constitutive model, you can think of it as turning on that term. We'll be applying the loads in three load steps. In the first load step, what we will do is we will turn on just the bolt preload. It's like you're, you've not loaded the model, you're just tightening the bolt. And that's going to set up some stresses in the model. In the second load step, we are going to also apply the pressure and the forces, the separation forces due to the regeneration channels. And that's going to affect the boundary conditions. Okay, In the second load step, you still haven't turned on the thermal effect. And in the third load step, all we do is we also turn on that term. And these loads are cumulative. So at the end of the, um, the three load steps, you have the, um, the bolt preload, you have the, the pressure and the regeneration channel forces, and you have the thermal strain. Let's go in and, and turn on that term. I'll go to mechanical. I'll highlight static structural and go to loads and select thermal condition. Make sure units are in US customary um, inches. And we're gonna apply it, apply the thermal strain over all the, uh, the bodies. So you have the body selection filter. So I'll say, I'll click over here and then I'll right click and say select all, or I could say control A and apply. Okay, so I'm applying it to all four bodies and I will say magnitude. Um, in fact, what I'll do is I have to go to analysis settings at this point and say I have three load steps, okay? It should be one by default, so you need to go and change that to three. I've already been playing around with this, so that's changed to three. And if I go back to the thermal condition here, and I will say magnitude is tabular. So at the beginning, I have everything at room temperature, okay? And then at the end of the first load step, we still haven't turned on the thermal strain. So that, so there's no change in temperature at this end of the second load step. Again, there's no change in temperature. And at the end of the third load step, now it's heated up to 700 degrees. So between the second and the third load steps is when the thermal strain gets turned on. And then at the end of the third load step, you have the full effect of that term, the thermal strain. And it's going to take, you know, you have to also specify what, what matters in thermal strain is a delta T, so the change in temperature. So we say the original temperature is, so I go back to static structure and say original temperature is just room temperature. Okay, so the delta T is all calculated with that as the, the base point. 